Listen up, Super Mod fans. Chicagoland Games Dice Dojo is the spot for tabletop gamers to enjoy their hobby through great products and even better events. Dice Dojo has the best variety of board games, RPGs, miniature games, and trading card games like Magic and Pokemon in the city. Check out their many events, including dozens of tournaments and their famous free board game night on Wednesdays. Check out their website at chicagolandgames.com or find them on Facebook at Chicago Land Games. Are you looking for more Supermod content? Come join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash powercast network. For just $5 a month, you can get access to YouTube ad-free shows, all Supermod updates, all Supermod spreadsheets. All of our shows are released early. There are bonus episodes and much more. Don't waste another minute, everybody. Head on over to patreon.com slash powercast network. Welcome back, everybody, to the 1987 Super Mod. This is the New Year's series. It's the World Wrestling Federation all month long for the month of January, and we are continuing on with our WWF save today with two recordings of All American Wrestling. That's right. It is All American Wrestling. This will be another two-part episode because we are recording four episodes of All American Wrestling total. So, let's take a look at our absent workers for tonight, and it is nothing but what is expected, and let's take a look at our backstage instance. Hello, Mula and San Martino here. Oh, man. Bruno put her in her place and said, you will clean everything up, and then you will buy drinks for everybody after the show. <laughs> All right, positive impact on Mula. Uh-oh, Marty Gennetti's in trouble already. He just got here. All right. Marty did not pick up his share of the tab. Bruno San Martino found him guilty and said he will buy drinks for everybody after the show. Everybody's getting a lot of free drinks here, apparently. All right. Steamboat is doing some work with his protege, Scotty Williams, and Jesse Ventura is doing some protege work with his charge of Dave Wagner, one half of the Alaskan tag team with Rick Renslow. The Wild Alaskans, they were called. Let's get it straight. All right, let's take a look at our card for tonight, everybody. And first of all, we are going to be running at the Wooster Memorial Auditorium and none other than Wooster, Massachusetts. So here we go. We've got a couple dark matches. We're going to see Dangerous Danny Davis and Tiger Mask in action on these dark matches. We're going to see Tiger, Chung Lee, Davey Boy Smith in singles action. The New Dream Team are going to be in tag team action. And then our main event, everybody, we're going to see the world's strongest man, Ken Patera. Now, let's go over to week two's taping here. And we got a couple dark matches here also. And we're going to see Jerry Allen and Danny Spivey in action. We're going to see the fabulous Moolah defend the world women's title. Yeah, you know what? She actually will put the title on the line for that one. Yeah. We're going to see Johnny V in singles action. We're going to see the Young Stallions in tag team action. The Mighty Hercules will be in the semi-main. And then our main event, everybody, we are going to see the Junkyard Dog and George the Animal Steel in a tag team match. So with all that said, everybody, we're heading to Worcester, Massachusetts. Let's get to booking. Here we go. Dark match, everybody. Becoming a big fan of these dark matches. Maybe I should have been doing them all along here. And we have Gary Starr versus Dangerous Danny Davis. And here is Gary Starr. And here is Dangerous Danny Davis. Dangerous Danny Davis, of course, is in that feud with Coco Beware. He was the heel referee that then became a wrestler for those of you. That remember. Here we go. Five minutes on that one. And up next here, I can't remember. We have Alex Knight and Tiger Mask. So check this out. We have to borrow our Alliance title. 
And there it is, the World Junior Heavyweight title. And Tiger Mask is going to defend it here against Alex Knight, who's returning from injury. And here we go, dark match, pre-show, dark, Knight versus Tiger Mask. And for those of you unfamiliar with this Alliance title and how it came about, it's on our bonus show on Patreon. Here we go, Alex Knight versus Tiger Mask. For those of you that are unfamiliar for years, the WWF had a talent sharing agreement with New Japan Pro Wrestling, and they actually had the WWF World Junior Heavyweight title, or as they called it, the WWF Junior Heavyweight title, that was defended in New Japan Pro Wrestling, and that existed all the way up until 1986 when they stopped their agreement. So all we have done here is brought that agreement back, and to make things more uh, how do I put it? Realistic with TEW. Uh, we actually formed an alliance with New Japan Pro Wrestling, and we also included the Mexican promotion UWA in there. This will give us uh, access to a great deal of junior heavyweights, and we get to see some cool stuff. Our guys will get to work abroad and get some experience, just like they did in real life. For example, Randy Savage just got picked up in a alliance loan to go work for New Japan Pro Wrestling. All right, so here we are. Jesse Cortez against Tiger Chung Lee. And here is Jesse Cortez. And here is Tiger Chung Lee. And Tiger Chung Lee with the W here. And that one is in the books. All right, next we have, we were going to do a, eh, I don't want to do, yeah, well, let's do a Davy Boy Smith promo. It's not going to hurt anything. Maybe Dynamite Kid's available for promos. Is he? He is not. Okay, we'll have Davy Boy Smith on his own. And let's double check our, com our proper staff for this one. We are recording All American Wrestling. Craig DeGeorge is doing the interviews here. And Davy Boy Smith cuts a promo. There we go. He's talking to Craig DeGeorge. And of course, he's going to talk about that Hart Foundation. Here is Bret Hart. Here is Jim the Anvil Neidhart. And Davy Boy Smith's based on entertainment. Off screen, off screen, and this one is booked. All right, up next here we have Bill Howard and Davy Boy Smith. Of course, it's going to be an enhancement match. It's going to go just three minutes. And here we go. Here is Bill Howard. Here's Davy Boy Smith. Smith, of course, is going to get the W here. He'll use that running power slam, I'm sure. All right, up next, we have a new Dream Team promo. And let me double check who they're in a storyline with. And uh, nobody. Yeah, the Rujos. Sorry, the Rujos. Did another bonus episode yesterday, available on patreon.com slash Powercast Network, where we covered storylines and the fun stuff going on with them. So here we go. The new Dream Team cut a promo. So here we have Dino Bravo, and here is Greg the Hammer Valentine, and of course they're talking to Craig DeGeorge, and they're talking about Jacques and Raymond Rougeau. And here is Ray, All right off screen, off screen, entertainment, entertainment, and this one is booked everybody. And next, we have Costello and Evans against the new Dream Team here. Three minutes, of course. All right, here's Brian Costello. Here is Jim Evans. I'm sure a lot of you thought I was crazy by signing so many enhancement talents. 
But now I think you get to see why I signed so many enhancement talents. All right, we're going to give the win here to Greg Valentine. And that one's in the books. I'm telling you, you need 50 or 60. If you're going to run this WWF schedule, you need 50 or 60 enhancement talents. That way you won't wear them all out. All right, here is Ken Patera. He's going to cut a promo. And, of course, he's going to cut that promo on Bobby Heenan to keep his feud going. And we're also going to have him talk about uh, Harley Race. So here is Bobby Heenan. And here is Harley Race. All right. Uh, so we have off-screen, off-screen. And Patera is based on entertainment. And this one is booked, and up next here is the main event, in which we're going to have Dave Barbie, who was a powerhouse in his own right, up against the world's strongest man here, Ken Patera. So here is Dave Barbie. Here's Ken Patera. All right, Ken Patera, of course, is going to get the win, and I'm sure it's going to come via... That Patera hug. Apparently this match can go four minutes. And there we go, 35 minutes. We're all set. Let's run it and see how we do. All-American Wrestling in action here, everybody, at the Wooster Memorial Auditorium. 36 in our first dark match. And it had terrible wrestling and non-existent crowd heat. <laughs> Dangerous Danny Davis beats a Gary Starr with that top rope butt drop. Here we go. Alex Knight versus Tiger Mask. And an abysmal pre-show match. See, they couldn't say bad wrestling because Tiger Mask is outstanding. So here we go. Tiger Mask gets the win, a whopping 33 for that World Junior Heavyweight title match. All right. Up next here, Tiger Chung Lee gets the win over Jesse Cortez with that Kiwi roll. And again, terrible wrestling, non-existent crowd heat. And Red Tex the Doom, everybody. <laughs> All right. Up next here, Davey Boy Smith gets a nice promo here, 76. With Craig DeGeorge. He talks about that heart foundation. All right, up next, Davy Boy Smith on his own. Nice 85 score against Billy Howard here. He wins with the running power slam here. And lots of green, lots of money. Good stuff. All right, up next, hey, the new Dream Team does a nice 80 promo here against the Rougeau brothers. And uh, we got an 80 here. Good stuff. Green equals money here. I've learned the formula, everybody. If your wrestlers have a manager, if they are somewhat over and somewhat have entertainment skills, do not have the manager talk. Just have them talk. The manager will boost them. So there you go. A little free advice for today. All right, up next here, Brian Costello and Jim Evans against the new Dream Team. And Bravo and Valentine get themselves low 70s for scores. The other two are not very good. And uh, we get a 55 overall. Lots of green here, though. Lots of green, everybody. All right, up. Up next here is Ken Patera and Craig DeGeorge. 69 overall for Ken Patera's promo. And in our main event here, we get a 57. As the uh, Ken Patera gets the win. So here we go. We're going to finish this one up. And this one gets us a 68. Not Bad. Sorry about that little hesitation there, everybody. I had a distraction. My phone just went nuts with something and pulled my mind away for a brief second. I know I violated broadcasting rule 101, but uh, it's the truth of what actually happened, so I'm sorry. All right, let's clean this up here, get the right colors so I don't get confused, because you know I will. And yeah, definitely not red. There we go. All right, we're going to have an opening dark match here of Armstrong and Joey Mags against Allen and Spivey. And so here we go, pre-show, dark match. Armstrong and Mags, there we go. Versus Allen and Spivey. Of course, this one's going to go five minutes. So here's Jack Armstrong. Another one who worked enhancement for the WWF in 1986. Jack Armstrong and the young man here, Joey Maggs, who was a rookie. And they're going to face Jerry Allen here. 
and Danny Spivey. All right, and we are going to have Golden Boy Danny Spivey get the win here. And that one's all set. Up next here, we're going to have Candace Pardue. She's going to challenge the fabulous Mula for that world women's title. Here's Pardue versus Mula. We're going to put the world women's title on the line. And here's Candace Pardue. And here is the fabulous Mula. 63 years old and still going. Good for her. All right, here we go. Fabulous Mula is going to get the win. And of course, it's going to be a tainted win. But a win nonetheless. The, the heel must cheat, everybody. You know the gimmick. All right, there we go. And we're up next here with Barry O against Johnny V. And I just realized we had two first names and an initial against each other. Hey, why not, right? And it's just the way it worked out, too. It's not like I intentionally did it. So here we go. Barry O. And luscious Johnny V here. All right, Johnny V, of course, is going to get the win. And that one is in the books. I think next we have a promo with Johnny V. We do. The rare time we're going to have a promo after a match. But a little squash match like that, it's no problem. Johnny V cuts a promo. And of course, he's going to talk to Craig DeGeorge. And he's talking about that Brutus Beefcake. There's Beefcake. All right. Entertainment off screen, and we continue this feud. Here we go. Joe Murto and David Studemeyer against the Young Stallions. And we should, with all this work that we're putting in, we should be getting the Young Stallions over here. Because they are working a lot of matches here. Joe Berto had a pretty serious mustache. I like it. And here is David Studemeyer. Here are the Young Stallions. We're going to have Jimmy Powers get the win here. And this one's in the books, everybody. Up next, we're going to have the Mighty Hercules cut a promo. And in his case, we're going to have Bobby Heenan talk for him. Because Hercules was a pretty poor promo. Here is Bobby Heenan. Not that he didn't have experience doing him, he did. Just wasn't the greatest of promos. All right, here's Hercules. They're talking with Craig DeGeorge. And of course, they're talking about Billy Jack Haynes, or as our friend Bobby Heenan would call him, Billy Jerk Haynes, which I always found hilarious. <laughs> All right, that one's booked. And up next here, we have Billy Anderson, and he's going to wrestle Hercules here. All right, here we go. Billy Anderson and Hercules. And Herc is going to get the win here, everybody. And this one is now in the books. And next, we have a Junkyard Dog and George the Animal Steel promo. And this should be interesting. Of course, Junkyard Dog is going to do all the talking here. And George the Animal Steel is just going to be there hanging around because he didn't do much talking. He just kind of grunted and groaned, which was entertaining in itself. <clears throat> I never realized all these years later how old George Steel was. He was in his 50s. So this guy was doing the rock and wrestling thing and probably making more money than he ever had in his 50s. 
No wonder he limited himself in the ring and focused on the turnbuckle eating thing and all that. It's obviously why. All right, here we go. That promo is ready. And next, we have our four-minute enhancement match here. And we're going to have Steve Lombardi and Iron Mike Sharp, which is a pretty impressive team here as far as enhancement talent goes. Against Junkyard Dog and George Steele. So here's Steve Lombardi. Here is Iron Mike Sharp. And both of these men, as you know, are paid to lose. And here is Junkyard Dog and George Animal Steel. See that? George Steel is 50 here. And we are going to have JYD get the win here for his team. All right, we're at 35 minutes. This one's all set. Let's start the show. Let's see how we do. All right, Danny Spivey gets the win over Joey Maggs with that Bulldog. And Danny Spivey scores a whopping 58 here. We get some green, which is good. Let's see what the takeaways are. And consistency, holding back, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, fair enough. All right, up next here, Fabulous Mula gets the win over Candace Pardue at 44 and 36 somehow. Nets us a 30 here. I'm sure it's that holding back crap, and uh, which I just find ridiculous. But that's me. Um, here we go. A 30 overall, and Mula once again defends that world women's title. All right, up next here, Johnny V and Barry O. And we get a, a 29. 51 and 25 gets us a 29. Wow, is all I can say. Red text the doom. I don't even want to look any further into this one. All right, up next, Johnny V cuts a promo with Greg DeGeorge. Craig DeGeorge, not Greg DeGeorge. And he gets a 52 overall. Up next here, we have the Young Stallions getting the win over Joe Milano and David Studemeyer. 36 overall on this one. Lots of green here. But of course, I'm sure there's holding back penalties and everything else. So a whopping 36 for that match. All right, Bobby Heenan, who's arguably. One of the greatest promos of all time was very poor when trying to improvise dialogue. We're moving on. Billy Anderson versus Hercules gets a 63 here. I can't even believe the crap we just saw in that last promo. I can't even believe that. That's a TEW screw job right there, everybody, just so you know. All right, Hercules gets the win with the backbreaker rack. 63 overall, 70 and a 42, good stuff. All right, Junkyard Dog and George Animal Steel here get a 71 in their promo. And let's see how they do in the main event here, everybody. And we get a whopping 56 for the main event. Junkyard Dog gets the highest score with a 72. This one's probably overall going to get like a 49 score for the B-Show. And 63, a whopping 63. So there we go. We're going to finish up this one. And that's going to do it for everybody for this one, because when we come back tomorrow, we are going to film part two of All-American Wrestling here. And uh, nobody wants to watch an hour-plus YouTube show on Classic Pro Wrestling, I'm almost certain. So that's why I like to split these up into two separate episodes. If you feel otherwise, let me know. I have no problem breaking these into one show, but I just think it's a little too long. Let me know, though. If that's how you want to do it, we can. So for those of you that are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you leave us a message below. Let us know how you found the channel and what you think of us so far. For those of you looking for version 10 of the Super Mod, you can head on over to patreon.com slash powercast network and the mod is available there. Now with your membership will come access to all of our spreadsheets, obviously access to the database and the picture pack of the version 10 of the Super Mod. Not to mention all of our shows are released early and YouTube ad-free. And there are plenty of bonus episodes with some really cool content. So check it out, everybody. Last but not least, you can find us on social media, facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 Supermod. You can also find us over on Reddit under the subreddit of TEW 2020 Friends. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you back in action tomorrow with the second part of our All-American Wrestling Tapings.